afternoon, Jules here from Jules Designs and JT Creations. So we're still working on our summer days journal. Um, I have taken some of the one of the tea dye uh, papers out and I've put this on. I was just doing some tea dye paper and I just um, put some of my Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. This is the Wedding Pink and the Olive Vine on. And I just thought it was quite nice. It's quite shimmery. So I changed one of the, just the normal tea dyed papers out. Thought it was more like a summer days. And inside uh, the middle one is um, a tea dyed, but that's on a leaf. But what I want to do is, this is another one of the sheets. And um, it's a bit tattered on the edges. So what I want to do is I want to make an envelope that will sit in the middle and it will get stitched in with the, um, in the, in the spine, it'll get stitched in and then we'll close it up. So we can't close it up until, um, you know, we're ready to store the signature in, but we can prepare it. Now, as I said, it is a little bit tatty and we'll move these out of the way. I've already measured. I've, I've not really measured it as in such. I've turned the sides in um, because I want to give them a little bit more strength. Um, I just bent them over. Um, I don't have any glue stick that works anymore um, because it's come to the end. And I can't press it up anymore. So what I'm doing is I'm using um, a coffee stirrer to get it out. And I'm just running it down. And this is the tattered edge. So I'm being careful. And then I'm just going to turn it over. And you can see it's where the rips are and what happened was I was tea dyeing I put them outside and the wind got up blue I had like um like a solar light um on top of them which probably wasn't it was all right until the wind started and the next minute my papers were all over there the garden so some of them got a little bit tattered around the edge which is fine I'm still not throwing them out they were all dry that was the main thing a bit crumpled some of them but, but never mind I should really have my messy mat down but I don't <laughs> And I'm going to do a little bit of decoupaging on this envelope as well with the napkins. So I decided that that was going to be the flap um, over the top of the envelope. And this one was just going to get stuck down again. I'm going to stick it down with the glue stick. I'll use my glue spreader hotel key card and that's as far as I can go I would love to be able to stitch it up the sides but I can't um, just taking that bit off And there you can see, there's a little tiny bit there. Now, where I want to put the decoupage is on the flap. Now, I've found some napkins uh, that have been... Every time I go out, I buy a pack of napkins. 
and I bought these and it's sort of like Paris and roses and butterflies and things like that. So I'm going to put this on the flap and I'm just going to rip round it. This one's got the Eiffel Tower in and everything, and I don't really want the bike in it. Um, not on this one anyway. And I'm just ripping it along, I'll take that butterfly off. Don't need the whole thing, but it's easier to work with. Um, Um, that will do another one. And I think I just want it a mate of it over the, the edge. Um, don't really want this edge in it, but, um... I'll leave it there for now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my matte medium. I've told them that I'm videoing that if they come up the stairs just to be quiet. Uh, so one of them's been up already. <laughs> there if we get a little visit. They're both daft on YouTube anyway so. And I'm going to use my silicon brushes and I'll just put this down. Now normally I would, when I'm decoupaging with napkins, I just do little bits, but um, I'm doing a whole row at the moment, so. I'm not quite sure what they're doing downstairs. They're supposed to be watching a movie. I think sing two or something. And okay, uh, it's my next door neighbours that are banging, it's not the girls. And I'll feel terrible. I think my neighbours are having some reconstruction to their house. Well, it sounds like they're having reconstruction to the house. There's lots of hammering and drilling. And I'm just going over the top with the, the matte medium. Now what I find in um, this set of napkins that I bought, it's, you know, it, it, it's obviously they're pressed together with a machine and they have, they're embossed. But I don't know whether they're going with a cheaper material. Um, normally when you separate your napkins, they separate no problem. But these, um, they were ripping, the top layer was ripping out to be very, very careful. So, I'll not be buying these ones anymore. Because, the, I mean, the napkins, if they're not cheap. Um, I think these were about £6 or something, which is quite dear, but it was just, I liked them, so...
I'm just pulling these off where it's wet. It's showing a bit of a oops. You're not supposed to do that. Right, this. Right, we'll just leave it like that, otherwise I'm going to get the... And so we'll leave that as it is, but that's going to be the flap and some of it will go over the birds and that. And it will go nicely in with the seam and I think I might do a little bit here. some more of this I am going to have the, the stripes on this one. do is I'm just going to roughen the edge up a little bit because what I'll do is I'll put this on there Looks like it's been raining, absolutely tanking it down this morning. Um, that's why the girls are watching a movie. So I think I'll maybe need to take them out in this afternoon before I take them back to the mummies. So we had a movie night last night and we had pizza and ice cream and popcorn and chocolate and and I woke up this morning feeling quite ill <laughs> I think I overdosed myself on the, the chocolate and the popcorn right what I'm doing is I'm just getting rid of that And what I'll do is I'll come back to you when it's dry. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so that's it. 
I've dried it. It's not fully dried, but what I did do was I uh, brought that down a little bit to give it more room up there. I'm going to put a, a, a notch in there, but that'll be done at a later date. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do... Um, think we will do some little tiny bits of ephemera on there. So I've got my I think that's too big. So what have we got? Um, I've got some ephemera that I've cut out from the, the actual kit. So that's too big. That's the the circles. That's no good. No. Um. No. I think we'll have one of the little ones. One of these little. Um. These are not in the kit, these are just something that I've cut out, but I've just found something else that will have a tuck spot and I'm going to use one of these. Yeah, this is part of the kit. Right, so we'll just put them over there. And there is some little tuck spots and you can just fold them over like that. And you can fold them under. I'm just going to put a ruler underneath it so that I can fold it straight. Move this out the way. Um, and just put my nails, you'll have to excuse my nails, I've taken my nail varnish off because I was using Fabri-Tac the other day and it, it, it takes your nail varnish off totally. So they're a bit scruffy looking until I get them painted again. Right. Now, do I want that there? Or do I want that in the middle or do I want that there? Because I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little cluster on there too. Um, we have got some clusters. We've got some tickets. We've got some little papers. They're too, too big. Um, I think I maybe used all the clusters up, so I might need to make some, um, which is not a problem because we've got some bits and pieces. These are all bits from all sorts. So decide where I've got the pocket, so I want the pocket. Um I think I'll put the pocket there and we'll do the cluster on the other side. So this is just embossed uh, vellum that I'm just ripping. And 
think we'll have that on the or will we have that? No, I, I think we'll have that on there and that looks like a continuation of the the pocket. So I'm just making a tuck spot of this at the moment. Just to enable me to put the the vellum behind. Move that out of the way because we've got the It, this I'm using, it's had pink on it. I just want to give it a tinge of pink. I don't want to totally pink it up. of vellum I think and again this is just a misprint have a word I think we'll have focus on the good and this one I will um, that's round I'm using um, Harmony's Bordeaux just to ink around the edges. And I think we'll have that there. Some of it's in front, some of it's behind. And I have some, there's the little tiny bits. This is what I was keeping this for. It's just, um, it's an actual die. Um, and I just used it on some gold paper. It's um, craft coloured back in, but it's gold on the front. And it's like an old ancient vintage type gold I quite like it in my journals just peeking out and there we are and then we can have
this is just full of some of the bits and pieces that I've been making. And I think we'll have a butterfly as well. I've got some, I think we want some paler cards on this one. And that will go down there. And I might even think about putting a, a pocket along there because it is going to be the middle of the signature. So when you open the, the middle, this is going to be stitched in. Um, so we can put journal cards in there. So I may um, put some kind of a, a tuck in that one. And we can, these haven't been decorated yet, but um, yeah. So I said a butterfly and I've got some I think we'll have some bling on it as well. Just a little diamond tease. I've had these since my card making days and they need used up. And there's nothing wrong with a little bit of bling in a summer day's journal. Um, no, we'll not put that one in. I think we'll put a green one on that one. And a pink one. And there we have it. So it's dry. Um, once it's fully dry, I will ink round it um, and I will use the Bordeaux. Um, and I think I might have, uh, I think I might have some of this on the bottom, but have like a pocket and that hidden um yeah so i'm quite pleased with that so um i usually like doing uh, decoupage envelopes in my journals i'm just going to do this border on the top just to give it a little bit of just so it brings it in put a tall tag in there and use that as the um the fastener to keep the envelope down that's something um i usually decide towards the end um when i'm just putting all the journal together i like to to get all the the jazzy bits mm, quite like they're in there so that's going in there So I hope you get something out of this. Um, a lot of the stuff I do isn't planned. Um, it's just I get an idea in my head. And sometimes I do make the idea up and then carry it out on a video. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I'm just 
straight in with the video. I've got the idea and I'm excited about it and I want to show you it. But um, this is one of those times and I'm quite happy with that. And that's just a I was just messing on with sort of like some new tea dyed papers. So I will see you in the next video. Bye.